Spider-Man, at least in his standard suit, is usually not regarded for being that powerful, especially when compared to heroes and villains that are capable of altering time itself and destroying entire planets, along with other incredible feats. But with that being said, there is a version of Spider-Man that was capable of overpowering nearly every character in Marvel. This was when New York's favorite superhero was chosen by Captain Universe to briefly inherit the Unipower, turning him into the godlike being known as Cosmic Spider-Man. Just to give you an idea of what he was capable of, here's a quick rundown of what Cosmic Spider-Man was able to do while in this form. He was able to manipulate matter itself, possessed power to destroy entire planets with ease, was capable of reading minds, seeing into the future and past, and he had nearly unlimited strength, stamina, and speed. He also had no need to ever feed himself or to replenish his energy, and he was capable of sensing and understanding everything there was in the entire universe itself. His suit also changed, giving him an appearance that better suited his new cosmic form. So how and why did Spider-Man become so powerful? Well, as mentioned earlier, this power was briefly given to Peter by Captain Universe, which itself is a sentient energy force that seeks out worthy beings to temporarily give its near-unlimited power to. This power is usually lended to those who are attempting to overcome destructive forces that are bent on destroying entire populations of people, or even whole worlds, and that the only way to stop such a force would be with cosmic level power. Peter was chosen and given this power when Loki created and unleashed the Tri-Sentinel, which was a massive mechanical monster that was a threat to the entire human race. With the Unipower, Cosmic Spider-Man was able to destroy the Tri-Sentinel with relative ease as he blasted it with overpowering energy beams. Although the Unipower granted godlike power to its users, it did come with a few limits. For one, this power could not be used for evil. If Cosmic Spider-Man, for whatever reason, attempted to do harm toward innocence, or even had the thoughts of doing such acts, the Unipower would have been stripped from him instantly by Captain Universe. It also didn't have the power to bring back people from the dead, so Peter wasn't able to bring back Uncle Ben to life. And finally, the power only remained when the original threat still existed. As the very moment Peter defeated the Tri-Sentinel, the Unipower was removed from him. Though if Peter actively avoided to fight the Tri-Sentinel, the Unipower would most likely have been taken away from him and given to another hero, who would have been more likely to use it to destroy the Tri-Sentinel. So there were limits in place to ensure no one could use the power for evil or find a loophole in order to keep it forever. So why was Peter the first one picked to be the holder of this power for the Tri-Sentinel threat rather than someone else? Well, just like with the one above all's interest in Peter Parker, it's possible Captain Universe also realized his purity of being a human who deep down was just straight up a good person. That no matter how hard Peter struggled with life, in the end, he always ended up doing what was right, putting others before himself. And because of this resolve, Captain Universe felt sure that Peter was the perfect choice to wield the Unipower to deal with the threat of the Tri-Sentinel.